Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to Transport Fever 2, our cross-continental America series. It's feeling rather chilly and there's a reason for that, not because it's winter in real life, but because we are up in Toronto, that's where we're starting, so we're technically in another country, we're in Canada, uh, and uh, we have, uh, in the last episode, we started work on an electric railway because I wanted to make use of that orange and yellow Milwaukee thing. Uh, right, where are we? I'll see if I can uh, get it up in the train depot. This thing here, it's an electric train. It requires uh, these coaches on it, and uh, it's going to be a new regional line. Uh, we've not played with electric trains yet. It's a little bit early, in my opinion. It is only the 1920s, the early 1920s. However, this train is available, so let's use it. Now, this line we're building is going to go from Houston to Dallas, across to Little Rock, Memphis, Nashville, round to Cincinnati, somehow, up through Indianapolis, and across round here through Salt Steamerie, Sudbury, and eventually it will terminate in Toronto. So it's not the most direct line, if, as you can see, it goes all the way around the lake here, uh, down and across. Uh, it's, it's not direct at all, but I think it's a regional line that we definitely need to implement. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these towns and try and connect the railway in a way that we're not going to be... Because uh, we've got a bit more money to play with now, and we've got no loan. We're going to try and avoid these areas, uh, the, uh, the residential areas, just so that uh, we'll, we'll get a little bit more growth. We won't be hindered, sorry, by, uh, by, hang on, what am I doing there? There we go. Yeah, we won't be hindered by uh, the, the towns complaining that there's too much noise. What we'll do is we'll pop you in there. We'll have a, uh, yeah, a really long platform. Catenary, yes, because we are using catenary. Come on, you can, you can fit in there. Oh, go on, don't do this to me. Flipping heck. Right, we'll refund you. We'll have a 20 meter bus station. Uh, we're, we're getting this train line going through these two. We're, we're definitely doing it. There we go, you're working now. That can go over the industrial area. What have we got here? Oh yeah, we're on the land use layer. So this is nice and straightforward. We can have a, uh, a railway station or bus station down the end. You can actually be the full length of what we require. Get rid of you. Yep, lovely. Bit of railway there. No? Yeah, no, why is it not linking up? There we go, it's linking up. Oh, also, hang on, while we're here, while I think on uh, on that topic, somebody did very kindly point out, we're going the wrong way, that at Minneapolis, this has not got passengers coming to it because it's not linked. Look, there we go, it's not linked up. That is why we are struggling. So what we're going to do is, uh, and yeah, do excuse my, uh, my telephone going off there, we're going to delete you... And we're going to go back for electric. Yep, 30 meters, two and two. And we are going to get that linked up. There we go. So we might actually get some passengers now. There we go. Yep. And that was medium with electricity uh, above for our trams. There we go. Now, if we click that, they are linked up. Look at that. Thank you for pointing that out. I appreciate that because we'd have never had anyone. I don't know why there's passengers waiting there. I mean, they, they must have literally got off a train going the other way to turn round again. Very, very bizarre. But uh, but there we go. It's all linked up now. That's still stopping there. So we're good. Fantastic. Nobody's on, of course, because uh, why would you be? You couldn't get to the station before. Uh, where were we? We were down here at Memphis. So that's going to obviously have to come round here. It's quite a, a sharp corner, but it's fine. Because, again, it's sort of a commutery style line. We'll have in Nashville... Uh, right, yeah, we'll, we'll put it up here. Like that. It's on a bit of a corner. Oh, we don't need trams. Sorry, streetcars. Don't need streetcars. We'll fling you round there. Attach you onto the station. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's uh, a key feature of today's episode, is making sure that the stations are actually linked up. Now, it's going to come round to Dallas. What we'll do round at Dallas is we'll have to obviously expand this station with uh, tracks that have catenary on it. Look at that. Long station. Long station indeed. Platforms, which can... Uh, oh, it's the newer type of platform as well, if you look. It's not as... Uh, there we go. You can actually see where we've edited the station because we've gone for bricks rather than cobbles. Uh, we will need some sort of underpass. Where's the underpass go? There. 
put one there, yeah, and there'll be one down there. Lovely. And we'll go for a canopy. It's a completely different type of canopy. But there we go. Now, how are we working this? Are we going to have just one line electrified, just because that's a bit weird? Um, we could actually feasibly do that, couldn't we? Uh, right, hang on. So your standard track... What's that? Is that... That's looking about right, isn't it? Right, I tell you what, we won't do that. We'll electrify both of them. Not you round there. Yeah, nice, uh, nice corner. Lovely. Oh, and actually, it, it's like a tram line. It, it puts one in the middle, holding both of them up, and then occasionally it's not. That's fantastic. I like that. Right, hang on. So we need to we need to upgrade you with a bit of with a bit of that. We will upgrade all the way through. Hang on. There we go. Put you in there. This will all need to be electrified. All the way into Houston. There we go. And of course, we don't actually need to electrify any of the other platforms because we're not running electric trains. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll electrify just round there because obviously they do in real life, don't they? Uh, and we'll need two tracks, of course. So we'll, we'll come round here. Yep. Yeah. Round and through. Straight down here. Oh no, I've done it on the wrong blithering side. Right, hang on. I think that should be fine. Oh, hang on. No, we, we don't need a dock, so that's not going to help the situation at all. So we'll ping you in there. Aha, there we go. Right, yep. Splendid. Now, this is going to kick off, isn't it? Uh, right, there we go. We'll have 40 there. So we need to obviously terminals, which way are we going? So 12 needs to be terminal 2. How's that looking? That is looking perfect. That's looking absolutely perfect, and then it can can kind of do whatever it's doing there to get back over. Lovely. That can now be a one-way signal, because we don't need it to be a two-way signal. And uh, we shall signal appropriately. Uh, signals. Oh my lord, what on earth is all this? Uh, right. Okay, we've unlocked some new signals. We'll use a, a one head, because this isn't a main line. There we go. We'll have that there, and that there. Lovely. Uh, right, we'll have a, a doodah there for you. You can be, uh, you can be a, a one of them as well, because we're replacing you. Just because we've had to redo the junction, I can't have a signal in the middle of the line. That 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 won't go down well, will it? There we go. I'll we'll have another one there. Okay, there's a few signals there, but it'll be fine. Quite a high density little uh, little bit of uh, bit of track work there. That'll do. And then this is obviously going to branch off. Have we got everybody electrified? What I need to do while we're down here before I forget is actually uh, electrify this. There we go. Oh, go on. Put put electric track in. Yeah, lovely. Bit there. Going to have to electrify all the way down here because, of course, we're going to have to get trains from the depot, aren't we? Right, there we go. Stick you in there. Electrify it both ways. Yeah, you don't actually need to be electric in here, do you? So we'll, we'll take that off you. Yes. That'll do. And uh, what we do need to do as well is uh, have a bit of bit of track linking that up. Because we haven't actually got track linking that up, have we? So for anyone going back into the depot... I know that we don't send it and we're back to the depot, but we need to make it semi-realistic, don't we? Righty-o, so we've got electric track all the way up to Dallas. Crikey Moses, we're nearly 10 minutes in and I've not got much done. Oh, I don't know how this is going to work. Right. Well, I do. We'll, uh, we'll just have to try and get most of it done today. Right, there we go. You can come flying across. And then, can we just link you up to there without it looking horrendous? We can. Okay, that bridge is on a little bit of a little bit of a slope, but it's sometimes there's just not a lot you can do, is there? Right, where are we going with this? We're gonna go out over the town. 
if I do that, what are you going to do about it? Right, so you're not happy about something, but that's fine. You could be elevated the whole way. I mean, it's hideous, but I don't know. What, what happens if we make that look American? I don't like that. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm not keen on that. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll build it out over there. Bridge pillar collision. You're not colliding. I've told you you're not colliding. What are you colliding with? Come on, highlight in red what you're not happy about. Right. Okay, so we'll build you to there. You're happy with that? We can cope with that. Build you there. Lovely. Right, what are we... So if we build you kind of over there now. What do, but, but, but there's no bridge pillar collision. The, like there, the, that's the building. Can we, should we just delete the building? Normally it just lets you do it. Why is it not letting us do it now? Oh, and all of a sudden it's fine. God, this game is bizarre sometimes. We're not going on a slope like that. Absolutely not. Right, you can just be like a grand bridge that comes out over the city. Lovely. And then we'll put you on a, a kind of slant down. And then you can straighten out again there. Yep. And now a bridge. Over all of that. We're not too high, are we? I mean, it's it's not the best looking piece of track in the world, but I think it serves a purpose. Right, we'll delete through there, and then we'll... How are you feeling about that? The answer is you, you're not overjoyed, are you? It's not, it's not great, but it's functional. There we go, look at that. Now, what are we doing about this road? We'll have to go under here. What are you kicking off about, actually? Before we... Right, okay. There we go. Right, we'll build this road. It's not a straight road. I'm not happy about the fact it's not a straight road, but they can't all be straight roads. I'm going to build you under there. I mean, heck, I've played Grand Theft Auto. Not all of the roads in America are straight. There we go. And we'll even, just to show goodwill into this town that we've just destroyed their connection, we'll upgrade the road. To a better road. There we go. Are you happy, Memphis? Probably not. They're never happy and uh, on this map, are they? Right. This could be just a nice straightforward wiggle. With a bit of a bridge there. That'll do. Yep. Oh, not that one. That one. I mean, that's that's quite fine. Fine and dandy, actually. Right, there we go. Get you across there. And I know a lot of you have said in the comments, and I, I do read them, uh, I don't always get around to replying to comments, but I do read them, that there's a lot more single track line in America. Obviously, I'm double tracking, which is a very European thing to do. But the, the frequency you require your trains at on Transport Fever 2, I just don't think, from my builds, it's, it's, it's feasible to have... We could have you coming off there, couldn't we? It's not a fast corner at all, is it? But uh, but it'll do. Yeah, from my builds, I just don't think it's it's possible or feasible to, to have such a low frequency because it just doesn't work. Right, there we go, a bit of catenary. Let's have a new, new signal on there. That's fine, and that signal's fine. Everything in terms of signaling is fine here, but what we'll do is we'll put a, a new doodah there. It's, it's looking good. Right. A bit of catenary. So we've actually managed to link it up. This was the, the worrying part that I didn't know how I was going to do. Right, there we go. Yep. And just link everything else up. Have a bit of, uh, bit of that. Yeah, just a little bit. Not too much. Come on, how do we... There we go. I am very excited for our first electric trains. I don't know how it's going to work with the... St of course it'll work with the steam. Steam trains go down the East Coast Main Line in real life and there's electric wires there. I was going to say, won't the steam burn all the electric wires? But that's just stupid. 
Right, there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, electrified there. Yeah, lovely, because that's going to branch off, isn't it? And then that can go around there. So we'll link that up to Memphis. How is a straight bit of track, or as straight as it comes, if we just link you to there, what, what are you doing about that? You're going to have a bit of a tunnel. Yeah, a bit of a cutting, a bit of a bridge. That's actually really nice, isn't it? Yeah. Box bridge. I'm, I'm feeling it. There we go. A bit more. This is a lovely line. I bet you get some lovely views. People will take this line because it's more efficient. Uh, no, it's not. It's more environmentally friendly than, uh, than the Express. And you get better views. And if you believe that, you'll believe anything. Right, there we go, 45. We'll see if we can... We have a flying junction there. Look at that, there we go. So we'll have a flying junction. Can we get over that road? Oh, we can. Right, okay. But we need to go into there, so we'll, we'll bring it down to level crossing level. There we go, and bring you in there. Lovely. So we'll bring you across there. Yeah, that's looking good. I thought we'd go for a flying junction because we so often don't go for a flying junction. I thought that'd be quite nice just to, you know, liven it up a little bit. We'll have you coming down to there. I mean, I know it won't be at 75 miles an hour, but it'll be fine. It'll be absolutely fine, won't it? There we go. We'll, we'll link you in at... 75, so anything that does go over there can go there nice and quick. It doesn't interrupt the flow of the traffic. Just say it works. That works really, really well. Right, you're going to come round here. How's that looking if I keep you flat? It's looking really good, actually. This is quite a quick bit of line. It's hardly high speed, I know, but, uh, but yeah. Right, that is, of course, going to ruin everything. Fifty-five will do. Yeah, I, I didn't really want it, but it'll do. It's still faster than the car. Right, so how are we getting you across to, to Sudbury? I can't believe that's not linked by a road bridge. That's really bizarre. Right, so this is going to go around here. Yeah. And straight across. I mean, that was made for a rail bridge, wasn't it? Look at that. That was absolutely made for a road bridge. I'm going to keep it as a viaduct, you know. We keep that like that. I think that looks pretty good. Just uh, it looks a bit oldy worldy, doesn't it? We'll go round again. Will we? That'll do. Bit of fifty. Yeah, lovely. Sort of a bit. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a bit of an unusual line. It's not efficient by any stretch, but the electric trains should mean that it's quite fast at accelerating. Now, if you if I keep you as a tunnel, you're gonna. Pop out, go back in, yeah, lovely. Oh, this is, I keep saying, oh, this is brilliant. I'm really, I, this is going to be such a lovely line. I think it's going to be quite a high density line as well. Oh, and we're actually on the, uh, oh, what was I worried about? Plenty of time. Then you ran 60 there, yeah, lovely. Then we'll just come down the, uh, the edge of the lake. Oh, I've got a bit of old bridge there as well. Oh, that's just, it's just nice. This is lovely. Right, the Toronto main line, I think we're going to... That's going to come out straight like that because it's going to... Oh, no, hang on. It's Yeah, it'll come straight and it can bend around there towards Kingston. Because I think this is going to be a main line, isn't it, through Toronto. So we'll, we'll have... We'll have you coming out like that. There we go. And then in Toronto, we can have a branch off like that. Yep. That can be, uh, there we go, 35. We'll have 35. I know that like coming into a, a station like that should really be 30, but then we'll, we'll bend you around there. Yeah, a bit of 
Bit of 45. It's not the quickest, I grant you that. What's that coming out at? 36? Oh, it's not glamorous. Right, hang on. So we'll keep you as... I'm going down a bit because we need you to go down. Yeah, lovely. About that. 35. Yeah, okay. This is such a slow line. <laughs> I thought maybe like electric trains we might, you know... Due to there. How's that looking? Hang on, it goes all the way down to go all the way back up again. Oh, sod it, it's in now. It'll be right. Right, you can have a, a three doodah. I, I don't know. Oh, they all light up red. Okay. Oh, we've unlocked a new thing. Trucks, lorries, way, everything. It's not a main line, but it'll do. We'll have some signalling all the way down. This three track business, three uh, signalling business. It's nice. There we go, just before the bridge. And I don't think we need one before the station, do we? Lovely. Can you believe it? You were all nagging me in the last series of Piddlemouth Coast to uh, to pop a load of electric trains in. You know, come on, electrify, do it. And, uh, and here, we're in the 1920s and I'm already putting electric lines up. Now this could perhaps be uh, the start of an electronic revolution. I mean, let's face it, it probably won't be because you know full well I do still love my diesels. We need like the, the Dash 9, the uh, SD something or other. I'm thinking that my American trains knowledge purely goes back to Microsoft Train Simulator, as in MSTS, as in the Acceler HHP8, the Acceler Express, the, uh, the the Dash 9, the S, is it the SD80? And the GN something or other, I can't remember. Uh, BNSF, Amtrak, there you go, that's, uh, that's pretty much summed up my entire knowledge of American uh, locomotives and trains in not a lot of time. That's not a particularly nice junction, is it? Right, so let's get some trains on this because I am excited. We're going to go for track two, please. We're going to go up to Dallas. Yep, we are. We're going to then continue round to Little Rock, Memphis, Nashville. Yeah, lovely. Round to Indianapolis. Sorry, Cincinnati slash Indianapolis. Uh, oh, hang on, Cincinnati. We've not gone through the, the other doodah, have we? There we go. We'll go through here so that we don't interfere with the goods train. S through to Cincinnati. We're going to go up to Chicago. Then Milwaukee. Salt Steamery. Sudbury. Twelve stations. Toronto. There we go. We're going to go back again. Everything's fine now. It's, uh, it's chilled out. It was giving us loads of errors earlier. Milwaukee. Chicago. And down to Cincinnati transfer. We're going to go through on this platform. For obvious reasons. Round to Nashville. Memphis. Little Rock. And Dallas. There we go. Now, uh, when you arrive... What are we... Uh, oh, you can't actually get onto another line. Can we can we put another line in here? Will you no you're you're not for having it, are you? Right, there we go. We'll, we'll stick you in there. And then what we'll do is this can be the uh, what what is this? It's an RE, isn't it? RE4 Houston because this is like our main station, is it? Toronto. And then what we want to do is, when we're in Houston, yeah, that's fine. Use Platform 2, please. Yeah, like that. But then you can also use Platform 1 if Platform 2 is not available. There we go. But use Platform 1 as a, as a kind of first. And then what we'll also do is, up in, uh, up in Canada, up in Toronto. I should just say that Toronto's in America, shouldn't I? And just watch the angry comments roll in. Right, so you're going to stop on Platform 4, but you can also use Platform 3 if it takes you fancy, if Platform 4 is busy. There you go. You see? Lovely. Right, what are we having in terms of a train? Now, while we've been building all this shenanigans, uh, we've actually got a lot of money. We've got 
£3,000 slash dollars in the bank account. So what we're going to do is we're going to have... Do we have that one or that one? What works better with the carriages? For some reason, uh, I think I think we'll use this one. We'll have the, the, the letters. There we go. Rather than the logo. We'll have... What do we have it on here? So this is... Uh, Ooh, there's a lot to choose from. Do they all have to have domes on them? I, I don't want them all to have domes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is nine coaches enough on one of these things? It can do 125 miles an hour. That's ridiculous. Oh, no, it can't. The coaches can only do... Oh, the coaches can do 125. The loco can do 70. 70, yeah, 70. But that can do 75. Oh, well, this loco's on now. Right, so we've got two of these great big... In fact, do you know what? I'm, I'm going to split you up so you can be at the back. And you can be near the front. There we go. We'll have four of them. We'll have three of them. <laughs> yep. And you can go on the RE4. My goodness me, they uh, they, they make a right racket, flipping it, and then blew my eardrums out when the headset set on. It's a uh, it's like a crocodile, isn't it? It's got three uh, three sections. Why is that not the same? Oh, hang on, because this is not. Is it the same? I don't think it's the same operator, is it? That's Milwaukee. Oh, good lord! Yes, I'm to you too, sir. Yeah, this is uh, Empire Builder. I like that. They're probably not the right coaches for the uh, for the job. This is fantastic. I mean, it's completely ground. It's going to ground our, uh, our our freight operations here to a halt. It's going to take forever to get out the flipping depot. And it's got one of those Polar Express style. I say Polar Express. That just goes to show my lack of knowledge and ignorance. Where it has the curve at the back. Instead of in Europe, you just have a door. But yeah, the, the guards slash rear carriage you can just sit and watch out the back of. Brilliant. Right, are we uh, are we accelerating now? The carriages are making a good noise as it goes past. That's uh, yeah. It's going to be a clunky, slow train, a slow voyage across America and Canada. Ah, oh, I'm happy with that. Uh, now, what we do need to do is make sure that we've got plenty of bus connections for all this lot down here. So, I think a bus from Baton Rouge is uh, is what the doctor ordered. There we go. We'll have... Oh, hang on. Auto saved. Now, that's a chap we've not heard from. So, you can tell now, uh, we're 28 minutes in roughly, there or thereabout, that it took me two minutes to fire this up because I've got the auto save set at every 30 minutes. There you go. That's... Uh, right, we'll have you... Coming down here, you can go through the industrial district. And you can go around there, yeah, down to Baton Rouge. Then we can also go up to Little Rock. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Uh, we'll have you upgraded. Why are you colliding? You're not colliding, don't be silly. Collision, what's it collisioning -ing -ing with? Right, we'll delete you. And then you can actually just just go straight off there. There you go. Look at that. That is much better. Pop another bus stop back in there. Lovely. Right. Streets. Yeah. Upgrade. We've got a depot in Baton Rouge, have we? No. All right. Okay. Well, we'll shove a depot opposite the railway station. straight, is it? But it's fine. Could not connect alternative terminals. Houston to Dallas. Why can you not connect with the terminals? Alternative. Of course you can. Have I not leckied it? Oh, I haven't. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I, ha I have. No, I haven't. There we go. Now you can. Ah, there we go. It's because I've not done that little piece of electrification. This is why you should always do just everywhere. Just do everywhere at once. It's easier. Don't have half your station electrified and half your station not. That's just ridiculous. There we go. So we're going to go up to Little Rock. Then down here like that. Yeah, back through Little Rock. 
Manchester Road. I wonder if they, they must have heard of Manchester, mustn't they? Bus, Baton Rouge, to Little Rock. And then we'll have another bus, and that'll be uh, that's what we'll do for the last of this episode that links Baton Rouge and Memphis. There we go. That is where we're going to finish for today. I do hope you've enjoyed that. We've got some electric trains in, uh, so you know that's uh, that's something. Anyway, we'll keep an eye on how they're doing in the next episode. Uh, thank you so so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, do make sure that you click the like button. It's always appreciated. And uh, consider subscribing if you want to keep up with the series. We'll, uh, we'll set those buses going. Baton Rouge to Little Rock, Baton Rouge to Memphis. So this should build up a bit of a commuter belt, particularly between Cincinnati and uh, Houston. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Next time we're going to get more buses out, more trams, more streetcars, more everything along this route to really build those passenger numbers up. And uh, we might even extend some freight into uh, into Canada, etc, etc. So it's definitely worth sticking around for. Other than that, as I say, thank you so, so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.